The, the journey was a, was a big project and I think sometimes people see the, the finished product and they think, wow, that's how it all started, but it, it, it was much more in little steps al al along the way. Good. Okay. We were connected with this neighborhood and we thought, hey, let's, there's so many people there that, that, that want to be connected to, to, to North Bramalee where we are after this relationship we built. Let's, let's buy a bus so we can help bring those people here for different events and Sunday mornings and these kinds of things. Anyway, somebody wisely said, how about we rent one before we go buy one? And, and so thank goodness because it just didn't work. It, it, it didn't for a whole bunch of reasons. We didn't have buses filled with people. Um, and, and so I'm so glad that we didn't buy a bus, but God did lead us to be more involved in this neighborhood, and over time it led to the neighborhood center. The old bakery that we ended up turning into this neighborhood center, it was in the worst condition you could possibly imagine. There was, there was a hole in the, in the roof, so if you looked up and you're standing inside the building, you could see outside, and, and everybody's saying, don't don't go there. It's going to cost way too much to, to fix this sucker up. But for us, it's right there. It's right at the end of the street. It's right in the neighborhood. And we just believe that God had lots of resources to fix this sucker up if this was where we were supposed to be. My friends from school, they always come here and they really like it because they get to play like sports and stuff outside if it's a good day. They get to play board games. They get to have snacks, they get help with their homework if nobody could help them. And well, to me, I believe it's very helpful and fun. And since it's right by my house, it's convenient to just walk over. But we really believed we were going into these communities not to do something to the community, or to be honest, even for the community, but with the community. So the journey is actually called the journey your neighborhood center and 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 so it works out in very concrete ways uh, we have an advisory team a, a board if you will and uh, we've worked very hard to to make sure that at least half the people on that board live in the community uh, when we when we even when we begin a program we really try to make sure as best we can that it isn't just run by somebody from the outside but there's somebody who lives in the community who's also helping to lead that program and all, all really just saying let's make sure we do it with the community Welcome to Adi Arenda Court, uh, where we're opening our second Journey Neighborhood Center. Uh, this is an organization founded by North Bramley United Church, supported by the United Church of Canada and a number of other community partners and organizations. We're going to go down one level. There are um, probably uh, 600 residents, a very young population uh, with a lot of young families. Uh, a lot of folks on um, social assistance and uh, immigrant population. This week is March break and we've got some children's programming happening uh, where kids have come together, uh, children uh, from within the building, within walking distance. Uh, there's a passage uh, from uh, John chapter 1 verse 14. Uh, in the message translation it says, the word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. And that's the source of uh, inspiration for, uh, for us within, uh, at North Bramley United Church uh, to be engaged and working in the community. Uh, let's find out a bit more about what's going on today. A snowflake, that's true, it looks a bit like a snowflake. Yeah, and what are you going to make with the dough? Anything for kids is going to work, because there's lots of kids and, and there isn't a lot of activities for kids. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist, to, you know, so, but you start there. But I think the deeper needs, uh, those you get to know more as you get to know the people who live there in a deeper, in a deeper way. Like if you step on it, you'll step. You I'm Asya, and in the neighborhood I go by the name Mrs. Khan, and um, I'm with the journey as a community engagement facilitator. It's, 
it's a great opportunity. It's in the same building. We don't even have to put our coat on. As when mom was saying, if you have this program, I can even come in my pajamas and drop my kids off. And I said, well, why not? This neighborhood, it's, it's a very challenged neighborhood. So I really, really like, appreciate that Journey has decided to open up a new branch here. So far, the turnout for everything has been great. We had an open house in uh, November, and we had a movie night this past Friday, and we were booked through and through. And what are you making, hun? Me? Yeah. I'm making a moon smiler. Uh, you're making a moon smiler. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We have um, activities and programs and events that are designed for all ages, uh, all stages of life, and uh, uh, we communicate and connect with the community to help get a sense of what needs are. So there's things like uh, employment. So helping people to either find employment or find better employment. They have. And after that, if they're still um, struggling, trying to find a job, then they move with a job developer that is going to subsidize at least like for two months, and they're going to provide um, unemployment to like this person. Uh, we have a, a wide diversity of sources of funding. So um, the United Way is one of our funders, Ontario Trillium Foundation, uh, a number of uh, community service clubs, a number of uh, individuals within the community who really love Brampton and want to see uh, every part of the, the city flourish. The chair of our board at the time when we started the Journey Neighborhood Center, he said, don't, don't miss how we're going to be blessed and God's going to be doing work in us in this process. And, and, and absolutely, that's been, that's been our, our experience. People have uh, come more alive in, in their faith. I think as we, as we put to feet and hands the work of Christ as well as the words of Christ, it's amazing how that growth of Christ happens in us. And that, that's, that's joy, that's blessing. Um, I, I, for me, and I think for many others, there's a piece of reality that, that we've, we've fallen in love with this community, the people in this community. And whatever you fall in love, God's at the center of that, and it's a really, really amazing process and a good thing.